Hi guys! Yes, yes, yes! So welcome back, right? To how we're gonna get your group home started with little to no money. Man, that's crazy. How we gonna do that, right? So with this video, I more so wanted to pinpoint different programs you can utilize and turn into a group home, right? But before I dive into that, I just want to give you a little bit more information about myself, just in case you're not familiar with Jasmine. So I live in Detroit, Michigan, and I provide transitional housing throughout my area. Now, I started my journey a little bit over two years ago when me, myself, was in need of this type of housing. Um, I said it in my last video, it just wasn't available for me. Um, so I traveled and I went around to shelters and, um, you know, me and my babies, we had it rough. Um, I just believe I hit a mental um, rough patch after losing my mother and it was just, you know, it was just rough for me. Um, I wound up gaining so much weight. Um, I was almost 400 pounds and again, just going through it mentally. Um, and I say all this because me starting my business and facing my fears and jumping out there have made me um, even build the faith in myself to diet and live a more of a healthier lifestyle. So that's why I encourage, you know, everyone. A lot of people say that it's a glow when they see me and I just know it's because that I'm just so happy from where I have been and where I'm currently at right now. So I'm excited to share this information with you guys this evening. I am extremely excited, I tell you. So let me go more in depth. When I began my journey, I started with group home riches. Yes, um, I'm scoping in that and I found them and with Group Home Riches, they provide a gold course to where you can be able to go in and watch a ton of videos, get a ton of information. I mean, it's just crazy information on actually getting your group home up and going. Now, what I'm doing is just going a little bit more in depth. I've been getting a ton of inquiries about a lot from a lot of people who are already Gold Course members. So I wanted to make this video in particularly for them. But whomever click on, I want to encourage you to move forward. And if you use my link to purchase the Gold Course, I will provide special discounts on my one-on-one -on -one coaching, okay? Now let's go more into different types of transitional housing, uh, group homes, things like that. And why that's important to know when you are starting your journey. Now you want to be as specific as possible. When I began, I was extremely broad, and again, um, that got me into so many different things, and it wasn't as lucrative for me when I was going extremely broad like that, so I had to narrow down my services and pinpoint one particular type of group home, just one particular niche, and move forward from there. So example, um, we have sobriety home, um, also low income group home, development mentally disabled group homes as well, and those are just a few. Now, when we're speaking about these type of group homes, we have to keep in mind that those are the program. Yes, those are the type of programs that you will be running outside of your group home, right? So for instance, um, when you are providing sober living within your area, you want to be able to locate different organizations that will be able to give you the authorization to be an approved service provider. So you want to start with being an approved service provider. I'm going to say that again, guys. So Google that within your area. But why it's important to know exactly your niche, exactly why that's important, because you want to include that within your search, okay? So if you want to be an approved service provider for um, sobriety living, let's just say I'm in Michigan, 
So I scope up Michigan. And what wind up coming up is a ton of providers that I can be able to go on their website and fill out my information. Now, when you are going on these different types of websites, you are going to become certified. That's the key thing. When you are becoming certified, there are certain fees that you will have to pay. And that's depending on the state that you live in. So you want to keep that in mind. And also the amount of beds that you have into your home, the amount of employees, and things like that. So it's very important to know exactly the type of service that you want to provide inside of your home. Because that exactly is the program. Now, when you do go on those different types of um, agencies and organization websites and you're filling out your forms and you're, you're excited, so you want to get your home certified, um, they will um, ask you certain questions. Sometimes they may require you to be in business for a certain amount of time, but that's just you doing your research and getting out there and understanding the need in the community and where you want to go at with your group home, right? Now, let's just speak about the process prior while you're getting your certifications. Another key way for you to be able to get funding for your clients, and this is a way that I praise and preach and tell all my coaching clients, you must get out in the community and go to community resource centers, um, churches, shelters, because at places like that, they have the funding and the clients, and because the need for housing is extremely high right now, they're going to, a lot of the times, pay front to end costs. So for one client, you can be able to receive a check up to three, $4,000, depending on the amount you charge per bed, okay? So I also wanted to go more so in depth about, again, knowing the type of service that you want to provide inside of your home and why it is so, so, so important on knowing the type of service program because your service is your program because when you're becoming an authorized service provider, they're going to have a ton of different things that they're going to want you to run out of side of your home. I make sure they're to help the community. And by you being a private facility, they're going to probably require you to provide employment resources. Um, you're really going to have to get in the community and understand exactly what they want you to become. And when I say they, I mean um, the providers, the agencies, the communities, the organizations, nonprofits that's in those communities that's going to pay for your funding. They require certain things and they also may come to inspect your home, but that's a part of getting the certification and becoming a firm provider, right? So, um, I hope this information helps you guys. I really, really, really do. Um, and again, follow my page. And you also have the option to booking with me one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to talk more and particularly about your state, I do have clients all around the world who we do one-on-one -on -one coaching. And we're getting them going, hitting the ground running, guys. Yes, yes, yes. So again, you guys have a blessed, blessed evening. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.